Hello there folks, hope you're all doing well. Just here south of Lisbon, beautiful place, lots of palms. And I just wanna make a quick video on the difference. I know I've done a video on the difference between the California and Mexican fan palm, of which we have two beautiful specimens here of the two species. But I wanted to add in the hybrid today, Washingtonia across filibusta, and sort of show you how you can ID which ones are hybrids, which ones are the real deal. So right here, we got two beautiful um, specimens. On the left, you have a Mexican fan palm, Washingtonia robusta. On the right, you've got a California fan palm, Washingtonia filifera, and you can probably already notice some clear differences between the two. Um, for starters, of course, the first thing is the trunk. Um, you can see these ones, these ones have a bit of bulge in the trunk, um, making me think some of them may be a bit of hybridization. This one, the trunk's super skinny. So that clearly is a pure, pure robusta. That's one of the skinniest robusta trunks uh, I've seen. And even with the hatching on it, they left the leaf bases on, very, very skinny. And then you look at over at this, and this thing is just super thick. I mean, it's like more than twice as wide as the trunk, absolutely massive. So the trunk's a lot thicker on prolifera. Chances are, if it's not like skinny like that, or like that, those, those still may be pure robusta, I don't know, um, then chances are it's not robusta. Um, but it might have a bit of hybridization in it. And you, you, you always remember that it could have been hybridized generations back and then crossed back with robusta or crossed back with filifera. So there's varying degrees of thickness that you'll see in the trunk, but these are two pretty pure examples here. And then, so this one, massive trunk. You can see just these trunks here, that's just so much thicker than uh, robusta. Um, so yeah, you can see that there and um, and, uh, you know, of course, the next thing, the crown size. Look at this. This crown is like twice as wide on the California fan palm, Washingtonia, filifera. Um, it is just huge. And uh, it's interesting because it's, it's shorter. So th another thing is the height. Well, uh, you can see these. I'm guessing these were probably planted around the same time because the, the, the robusta is taller than the filifera. And they end up growing probably about like a third, an additional third uh, as uh, taller than uh, filifera. Um, so yeah, taller, skinnier trunk on robusta, but the crown is like only like half as wide and the leaves curl. You can see at the end, those leaves curl over here. They don't really curl at all. They just sort of stick out the leaflets. I mean, so, um, that's a big difference. And you can just see how much wider the, the crown is on, uh, filifera. The leaves on robusta, it's hard to see in this early morning light, but the leaves are sort of like a lighter green on, uh, filifera. They're like a, almost like a bit of a sableish color, like a bit of a bluish green, um, sort of like a, a darker, um, less shiny green, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, that's the difference between the two, um, the two, and you can just see how much wider, the, how much skinnier the skirt is on Robusta than Filifera. But, so those are the two pure species. Now let's go over, check out some hybrids here. Right, so over here we've got two beautiful examples of hybridized palms. These two right here. Now this one over here, let me look at these two. So this one you can clearly see has got curled leaflets. I would say this is, it's interesting because the trunk looks almost thicker on this one, but I think it's just because of the ivy and everything. I would say that this is a more robust dominant hybrid because um, I would say maybe it's like it was the two species crossed and then it was crossed back with robusta or something. It could just be a hybrid between the two. Sometimes they look different. Um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, it, it's a uh, filibusta, Washingtonia cross filibusta. So filibusta is a combination of the words filifera and robusta. So it's a hybrid of the two species. And you can see it's got curl leaflets up there, but they're not exactly drooping over the way that they are on, uh, on uh, robusta. And um, leaves, uh, not not as light green as as robusta. They got a bit of a filifera tinge to them, um, and the crown. It's hard to show you, but you can see the crown there compared to the crown of like these over here. Certainly wider. Certainly wider. I'd say like between filifera and robusta, which of course makes sense. And then the trunk. It's really hard to see because you got ivy and you got all sorts of other stuff. You got a big root ball here, but the trunk's clearly thicker, much thicker. So that is a. Uh, filibusta here, this is what I would say is a bit of a more filifera dominant um, strain, uh, hybrid, I mean. So uh, you can see the leaves up here, leaflets just barely curl. You can see 
from a distance, you know, it looks like they curl a bit. They do curl a bit, but of course on fullifera, occasionally they'll, they'll curl, curl a bit like that. Um, so uh, you can see they, they curl a bit and they, they are lighter green, but um, you know, from with the distance, which with the skirt, it almost looks just like a um, fullifera. Although you do take a look at this trunk and it is skinny. So it's interesting. Sometimes the leaves will look more fullifera-ish, the trunk will look more robust-ish. And you can see, I mean, it's got no ivy or anything, but certainly a skinnier trunk if you remove all those leaf bases, but not, uh, certainly uh, no, no fullifera and certainly no robusta. Uh, not a pure fluffer robusta, so um, that is definitely a hybrid there, and uh, much wider crown than on those robusta you can see. So, just, yeah, it's a quick uh, ID on uh, how to tell the uh, pure species from the hybrids and how to tell them all apart. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know. If you have any additional um, ways of telling them apart, please let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hope you guys are doing well, and uh, yeah, stay tuned and take care.